Hey, hey, Kevin Williams, Couples Limousines. Many of you have responded to my um, video and my words about um, being on time. Well, I'm here in my work office. That's one of my vehicles, my limo bus here, you can see. Always at work today. It's October the 28th and I'm doing a funeral service. And my book on, uh, or my take on being on time that I was a person that was never on time for anything, but God provided me a time conscious career. And so as a result, I put a post, got many response. But guess what? Because of that, I have decided to write a book with the help of some colleagues on um, the time conscious man and or one man for that matter and how being on time for everything is important and because of that god will elevate you because you're a good administrator of the things that he provides and teach others the same thing so stay tuned for my ebook and as well a hard copy of the time conscious man coming soon to you stay tuned and i would like to thank um for those brothers and sisters who are along the path and the journey who have helped me to be a time conscious man who have helped me with responsibility and accountability to always be on time um, because uh, the saying the early bird gets the worm is a great saying but also there's a time and place for everything under the sun and so with your time and I've even written a sermon one time I preached it called what time is it what time or what season in life is this for you what is God saying to you what should you do in this time is it time to revamp uh, time for rebirth re rebirth or is it time for reconstruction what is time for you and certainly uh, because of the time only you are responsible for it and it takes me to my favorite song what Michael Jackson wrote remember the time you know everything is timing 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 with God is timing through his son Christ Jesus timing and so get ready for this book is coming and stay tuned and there will be a lot more for this where this comes from so I'd like to thank you for Allow me the time to serve you as your chauffeur, trusted chauffeur with Couples Limousines. I'm owner operator. Now I've been in business for 22 years. Uh, here I'm currently in the Wardoff, Maryland area. And I started this as a dream. Me and a friend of mine, a buddy and business partner, uh, Benjamin Butler. We were in a counseling session. Ben, uh, Actually, we started back. Let me take that back. We started in uh, parking lot ministry at a church, the Soul Factory, Church of the Lord's Disciple in Washington, D.C. And we in parking lot ministry and men Ben's talking. And from there, we built the relationship. And I was asked, hey, man, what you doing today? He was like, well, I'm going to do some things, um, clean up. I'm going because uh, he had contracts. And we talking about in our 20s. Uh, clean up and I'm going uh, then to my counseling session. Um, I'm a uh, counselor. Um, I said, man, what you, how, um, hook me up, take, take, show me how to do these things. You know, uh, seems uh, Ben had a, a professional life and well detailed oriented type of guy. And I wanted to be a part of it. Uh, so this brother, uh, it was all about time, timing. And he was military, so he was militant and everything's about time, being on time. And I know I didn't have none of that. So, uh, me and Ben, we got together and we decided to uh, build a brotherly bond. And in the word, it talks about as iron sharpens iron, so does a brother sharpen another. And getting with this brother, I can honestly say that I was been shopping. I was shopping. I was shopping. We built a lot of friction together. I mean, friction. And because of that, my life changed. My life changed. And as a result, <clears throat> I began to uh, assess my life daily to see if I'm of the faith. Uh, I began to assess myself daily because now I have accountability. 
um, I have responsibility that someone's gonna hold me to the fire for. And so as a result, uh, we was in counseling session one day uh, as assistant to the professor counseling a couple client and God spoke to me and say, what are you gonna do after this counseling session with these clients? I say, God, they only own, yeah. These couple, this couple, they only own, they drained me, God. I put all I had in that session and um, I was through. And he said, no, no, you're gonna need to help them, you know, to maintain this great relationship that they have as a result of your counseling. Now you're gonna create something to help them keep the flair in their relationship. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as a result, he says, you're gonna create uh, this business and you're gonna call it Couples, C-O-U-P-L-E-S, that's the acronym. Couples stands for, come on you people, let's evaluate self. Often in relationship, when it goes south, we blame others and point the finger instead of saying, what do we do to help that relationship go south or fail because someone was stubborn. And last time I checked, it takes two to tangle. And so we do a lot of blame shifting, but not accept our part in relationship. And you only can accept this talk if you understand that marriage was instituted by God. And he gave the precepts and all that and how it's supposed to uh, work and gave it to man and woman. And so not a boy and girl, but man and woman. And I um, want to thank uh, brother and pastor. Um, Deron Cloud for helping us. Uh, he taught what a man and what a woman looks like in relationship. Not a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but a man and a woman in his play, boyfriend, girlfriend thing. So back to this dream that God gave. Uh, I said, God, I don't have no money to start anything. Uh, and, you know, I got babies, bills and bad credit. You want me to start something, you know, from not being on time. I messed up all that, uh, the bills and the credit. So God restructured all that. And he said, call it couples and you can get limousines, sedans. God, I don't have no money. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, with a signature, God get, got and made it so that I can get 65000 to buy a limousine. And then I went to Ford Credit. They gave me 130000 to get two brand new sedans with a signature. And I said, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Because I know I couldn't afford a stick of bubble gum, but God made it so that I can afford to get this. So today, Couples Limousines is a thriving business in the Washington metropolitan area. And I have amassed uh, good wealth and assets, and I'm proud of what I do and how I serve the community and give back also um, because God gave me this business to help people. Uh, money's gonna come and it has, but he gave me this business and he told me to serve people. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go so far as to say, I stand on God so much when it comes to this business and how I take care of my clients. I'm very serious about professionalism and what I do for them. If you don't like my service, you don't have to pay me. It can get quiet. If you don't like my service, you don't have to pay me. Because I want to be an upstanding and outstanding man in a community where I really truly believe I'm here to serve you. God gave me this, not my own. And so I hold people to that same account and people who work with me, um, to be able to serve people. Don't just be looking at the dollar. Don't go around walking in greed. Uh, understand that we do need uh, resources and money to survive in this world that we live in. But if we make money, everything, money over everything, then we're not gonna build true relationships. We, there will be no genuine love. Uh, when you need help, that's not gonna be there because it's all tied to what kind of money you can provide for someone or give them for helping you when you need, and we all been in need of help. So I went and purchased these limousines and everything. And my buddy Ben was like, man, I don't see what you're saying, you crazy, but I stand with you. He, he held me up while I was trying to get through what God was saying. There was some gray areas I didn't understand. 
and he brought other gentlemen and ladies in my life. Um, not gonna name a lot of them, but mainly he brought people to help me to make this dream come true, to serve the people. So what I recognize is because of the love of God, God's love extend to the people in the land and he want them to be blessed. But you have to walk in his precepts. All blessings flow from God. And I'm not a fool that I think it was me with my big head self that I did this on my own accord. But God orchestrated it all. He put people in place and he made it happen. So today I thank God for all that he's done in my life. The Lord, my shepherd, according to the 23rd Psalm. Um, he prepared a table, certainly in the presence of thine enemy. Uh, he's my rock, my refuge, Psalm 46, one that I can run to in a time of trouble. He's a very present help. And so today I just thank him. Man, I thank him. I get very emotional because it was nothing but God. Nothing but God in the relationship and the people that he's put in my life. And I truly thank him from the bottom of my heart. So um, today, <clears throat> Couples Limousine is thriving. And I tell people, uh, they ask me a lot of times when you go to banks, who's your competition? I don't have no competition. You know why? Because I didn't forget what God told me. God gave me this business. God is going to keep it. And he had me to serve people um to do what they need and let me take you back a little one couple that i served in my early years they put me in the merlin the mer news that's the maryland newspaper a whole big article in that paper about me and my, my buddy said hey man you famous somebody got you in the newspaper i didn't know nothing about this newspaper and i opened it and they say how couples limousines blessed them they was on the verge of divorce and my service put a a, a period and I talked to them about love and about how couples go to bond and uh, showed that gentleman how to build gentleman to his wife. Uh, something, it was a break in that relationship, opening the door. And, um, you know, sir, when I uh, get out my car, I sit men on the left side behind the driver's seat uh, and the women on the right side. So when I get out the car, open the door for you, you follow me, you be on my heels. And we're going to get there. I want you to open the door for that young lady. And I want you to grab her by the hand. And I'm going to be there to open the door. And we're going to assist her into wherever. And then I want um, you to go in and enjoy yourself. Don't try to deal with arguments while y'all on dates. Just uh, love her authentically. And you enjoy yourself authentically. And you all just have a good time. And just, you know, what caused you all to meet in the first place? Look at those things. Rehash those conversations. And, this, and then appreciate one another. Don't try to handle the argument while you leave the stove on or, you know, don't make a five cent issue a $500 issue and just enjoy yourself. So I've been doing this now over 20 years, couples limousines, uh, and I have a thing or my slogan, couples limousines with intimacy and elegance meet. I bring ele elegance and intimacy together where we can communicate and conversate um, to be able to get the flare back in relationship. And, and uh, help one another in the endeavor of our days and everything that we do. But it's a time and a place for everything under the sun. So with that being said, stay tuned for my book is coming soon. The Time Conscious Man. God bless. Peace. I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it.